Brought to you by the Mutual Audio Network. With a name like Mutual, it has to be good. The following audio drama is rated G, which means it's safe for families and folks of all ages. Enjoy! Chatterbox Audio Theater, the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention, and the Memphis College of Art present Robots, Vampires, and Satellites, based on a character created by Leah Amada, written by Joe Thorderson, adapted by Robert Arnold, performed live at White Station Middle School on November 9th, 2012! Open house day at the Omega Robotics Factory. A group of newspaper reporters listens in rapt attention to the company's owner, the wise Mr. Alphonse Omega. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen of the press. The robots we build here are among the best in the world. You'll find Omega robots in homes, factories, hospitals. They can handle the most demanding jobs and the most delicate tasks. And we owe it all to the ingenuity of our chief inventor. Though only ten years old, she is widely agreed to be a genius. Why, here she comes now. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, may I present Dr. Leah. Every robot we build is based on one of her designs. Hello, everyone. Yes, yes. Dr. Leah is very busy today, I'm afraid. The company is rolling out a new line of hairdressing robots. But she may have time to answer a few questions. Of course, um, you there. Uh, Dr. Leah, what is the most important rule to remember when building robots? Well, that's easy. In fact, it's a rule so important that we engrave it inside the access panel of every robot we build. See here? It says, robots Robots must must only only do do good. But Dr. Leah... How can you be sure someone who buys your robots won't reprogram them to do bad things? Oh, don't worry, friends. Leah has planned for that as well. That's right, Mr. Omega. See, in the very last manufacturing stage, before any of our robots leave this factory, we implant each one with an emergency shutdown switch. A shutdown switch? Yes. If anyone even tries to reprogram the robot, it will shut down completely. Yes, yes, yes. Better that a robot should be deactivated than it should ever be used to hurt people. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll follow me, we'll continue our tour down the hall. But at that very moment, high above the crowd, two shadowy figures sit perched in the rafters. One is a small black bat. The other is a pale, thin man with slick back hair and suspiciously long teeth. As they watch the reporters, the man leans over to his companion. Bah! Listen to them, Cairo, prattling on and on. What dull creatures these humans are. You got that right, Count Lakari. I wonder... Talk, talk, talk. With no regard for anyone but themselves. Why won't they get out of the way? We have work to do. It's enough to drive one batty. (laughs) What would any self-respecting vampire do in a situation like this, Cairo? Would he swoop down and attack these pitiful humans? Yes, sir, Count Lakari. Would he sink his teeth into their soft, rubbery necks? Yep. And would he feast on their sweet, succulent blood? You bet. And what will I do, Cairo? (sighs) None of that. (sighs) <sighs> You're right, Cairo. Believe me, I could do it if I wanted. Just sounds like so much work. Poor Count Lakari. You must be the laziest vampire who ever lived. Please, Cairo. I don't like this word, lazy. I am simply judicious about expending my energy. But look, the crowd has moved on. Time for us to get going. Follow me. <laughs> so many robots coming off the assembly line. We've got to pick the right one. How about this one, Count? Ugh, no, too short. Uh, this one? No, not sturdy enough. Hmm, him? <laughs> downright ugly. All right, uh, this one. Close, but there's, there's just something about him I don't like. Okay, uh, geez, uh, how about this one? Hey, that's funny, Count. Hmm? If you ask me, this robot looks a little bit like you. 
He's perfect. Truly the handsomest, most expertly assembled, most flawless robot ever constructed. I'll flip a switch. <gasps> Look out. It's alive. It's alive. Hush, Cairo. Don't be predictable. To listen to your messages, press 7. To print a test page, press start. Heed me, robot. I am the great Count Lakari, and you are my servant. Tell me your name. I am not yet programmed to have a name. Oh, no? Then Cairo and I shall program one for you. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have quite a few <laughs> improvements to make to you. But Count Lakari, the shutdown switch. Oh, not to worry, Cairo. That is the most ingenious part of my overall very ingenious plan. You see, this robot has not yet finished the manufacturing process. The shutdown switch has not yet been implanted. In genius. <laughs> Precisely. Which means we may steal him away, add on a few key elements, and program him in whatever manner we wish. And Alphonse Omega and that new little child Leia can do nothing about it. <laughs> Yes, it is your destiny to serve me, robot. You will be my most valued companion. <clears throat> <clears throat> and you shall be known as... The Vampinator 3000! <laughs> the next night, on a lonely street corner... <laughs> Muffy, please hurry, it's very dark. Oh, now then, do your business like a good boy. No need to make a fuss. Muffy? Muffy? Where did you go? I... I... Oh! My master requires blood. <sighs> oh, dear. Perhaps I am coming on a bit strong. Well, there are worse things than fainting. Chances are this won't bother you in the least. Just report another 20 cases of blood theft throughout the city. So far, police have no leads on this bizarre epidemic. Come on, Cal, we're missing SpongeBob! Cairo, did you hear that? The Vampinator is carrying out his tasks perfectly, and no one has a clue how to stop him. <laughs> These Omega robots really are the best. Here he comes now. <clears throat> well, robot, did you get what I asked for? Yes. One type A, one B negative, one type O. <laughs> Perfect. I do love a good mixed drink. Pour some of each into my glass, please. <sighs> Excellent work, Vampinator. Excellent work. Come back with a few more pints and you can take the rest of the night off. Yes, Count. <clears throat> yes, Count what? Yes, Count Lakari, Master of Darkness and the Night, your every wish is my command. Very good. Off with you then. Can I have a sip? I'm sorry, kid. You're on your own. Goodness, so few people out tonight. I expect the news reports are scaring everyone into staying home. Not that I blame them. Ah, look, the moon, way up there in the sky. It's so far away, a whole other world. Ah, a trip to the moon. Now that would be the ultimate adventure. I wonder if... Oh, my sensor, someone's coming. Ooh, you're a big one, aren't you? Plenty of blood in you. Just a little closer. Oh. Hey, hey! Excuse me. Watch yourself, please. Why in the world? I'm getting out of here! Hoo wee Now that's what I call a hot landing. Hi there, friend. 
I don't know who you are, madam, but you just scared off my donor. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was heading over to Omega Robotics for a tune-up, but it looks like I landed a few miles short. <laughs> my name's Saba333. What's yours? I am the Vampinator 3000. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Vampy. So, you're a robot like me? Well, I mean, not just like me, of course. See, I'm the world's first flying robot! I take it you're still a test model. No need to be snippy. So, what's your function? Function? Sure. Every robot has a function. Well, take me, for instance. I repair satellites. Satellites? You mean... In outer space? No, underground satellites. <laughs> of course I mean in outer space, silly. Oh my, is that so? Outer space. Why, you've got to tell me all about it, please. Sure, Vampy, sure, sometime. But that's enough about me. Come on, spill. What's your function? M my function? Well, I am a... I'm a... Blood... Collector, I suppose. A what? A blood collector. You see, my circuitry was designed to require human blood. Uh-huh. I was engineered to sneak up behind people. Right. Choke them until they are unconscious. Okay. Then suck out a quart of their blood. The blood runs through my system. My filters remove any impurities or diseases. Each night, I find enough donors to make three or four gallons of blood. Then I go home and put it in the refrigerator so my master can drink it. I see. Vampy? Yes? That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard! Oh, it's not so bad. Though I did chip a fang once on this lady's spinal column. Oh, this is unbelievable! Oh, aren't you an Omega robot like me? Omega robot? I don't think so. I was built by my master, Count Lucari. He told me so himself. Oh, he did, did he? Well, look, pal. I know an Omega robot when I see one, and I'll tell you this. Wait a minute. My sensors. Help! Help me! Did you hear that? Yes, it's coming from... <gasps> Over there! Oh, look! That apartment building is on fire! Oh, come on, Vampy! No time to lose! Grab hold! Whoa! Just fine. Ugh. There. See? Safe and sound on solid ground. But my daddy is still in there. Uh-oh. You hear that, Vampy? Time to put that sensor of yours to the test. What? Me? I I'm sorry. I do not understand. Well, you're built to find people, right? So get in there and find this poor kid's dad already. For what purpose? Well, he's in trouble. Oh, humans get in trouble all the time. It is their nature. I'm sorry. I just don't see why I should get involved. Okay, then. You should get involved, because if you don't, I'll turn you into scrap metal myself. How about that? Okay, fine, fine. Here I go, then. Hello? Hello? It's times like these I'm glad I was made without nerve endings. Oh, good evening, sir. Ah, who are you? What are you? Don't worry, sir. I am a robot vampire. I am a friend, and I am here to help. Wow, that's a phrase I've never used before. My daughter is still in here somewhere. No, sir. Your daughter is outside. She's safe. Now let's join her before we both get toasted. Grab onto my back, please. Now hang on. Is he going to be okay? I'm sure of it, kiddo. <gasps> In fact... Susie! Daddy! I'm so glad you're all right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Robot. Thank you. <laughs> well, how about that, Vampy? I bet you didn't know you had it in you. <gasps> oh, check it out. I guess the fire burned off your cape. Well, don't worry, though. It's still a good look for you. <laughs> Hello? Earth to Vampire Robot. Hey, I'm talking to you! S 
Sava, I am experiencing a very strange sensation, and I must say it is not unpleasant. For some unknown reason, I'm finding that helping people feels far more satisfying than sucking out their blood and leaving them half dead on the sidewalk. Of course, Fang Boy, that's what you're built for. What's that? It's a warning light. Ah, it means I only have 12 hours to resupply my blood tanks. <sighs> oh, no, you don't. Come on, Fang Face. Let's get you out of here before you get any ideas. Where are we going? You'll see. Now I'm going to show you where I work. Whoa! So what do you think, Chopper? It's beautiful! Incredible! It's... it's... Yeah, it's pretty cool, all right. Come on. Let's go find a place to sit down. Park your keister here, Vampy. Is that the sun? Of course it is. <laughs> What'd you think it was? I've... I've never seen it before. It's beautiful. The universe is full of beautiful things, Vampy. The stars, the planets, but most of all, people. People? Good gracious, Sava, have you ever watched one of them eat? I could hardly call that beautiful. <laughs> I'm talking about what's inside them, silly. Ugh, even worse. <laughs> no, no, I mean something you can't see. Let me explain it this way. How did you feel when that little girl thanked you for saving her daddy? It was the greatest feeling I've ever had. Was it beautiful? Well, yes, I suppose so. Well, there you go then, Vampy. That's what I'm talking about. Humans are full of moments like that. Overall, they're not a bad group to be around. Do you know something, Sava? I think I agree with you. But you are designed to help people. It comes naturally to you. That is not the case with me. You're wrong. Let me show you something. Hold still. My access panel, no. Uh, don't open that. My master told me never to open that panel. Well, I'll bet he did. Take a look. Why, there's something written there. It says... Robots, robots must, must only, only do good. good. I told you I knew an Omega robot when I saw one. See, Fang Boy? We're the same. You just didn't know it yet. <laughs> I think you're going to become very good at helping people. Oh, but Sava, even if I wanted to help, my circuits are programmed to crave blood. Even now, at this very moment, if I saw a human, I'm not sure I could control myself. How could I ever spend my life helping them? No, Sava, it's too late for me. Just leave me here, let my power run down. At least I can look at the sun while I rust. Don't talk that way, Vampy. I'm not giving up on you so easily. Come on, there's got to be a way around this. We'll figure something out. We just need a little help. Help? That's right. And I know exactly where we can get it. Oh, it's...
It's good to have you back, SR 10223. We thought you were gone for good. SR who now? That's just your serial number. What Mr. Omega is trying to say is it's good to see you and we're happy to help you in any way we can. What did I tell you? So, what can we do to welcome you back into the Omega Robotics family, hmm? Well, I don't want to hunt people for their blood anymore. Naturally. But I don't want to be deactivated either. Hmm, we understand. But Count Lakari rewired my circuit so that they require human blood. I don't know that it is possible to change them. Hmm, it would certainly take some time. Lots of delicate work, maybe a dedicated team of engineers, but with months and months of painstaking effort... You know what, Doc? Uh, hmm? I have a better idea. Participation in this year's Omega Robotics Factory Blood Drive has been through the roof. Organizers credit this off-the-chart success to their newest creation, the Vampinator 3000. Surely the fastest and most efficient blood donation robots ever created. Why, in just seconds, the Vampinator... Ah! Next. Oh! Ooh, you're very healthy. Next. Well, Dr. Leah, I'd say you've outdone yourself. Just wait until he starts his full-time job at the blood bank. They're going to love him there. Next. Oh! So, Vampy, have you found your function? You know what, Sava? It was there all along. I just had to look inside and remind myself. Robots, Robots must only, only do good. good. Quickly, Cairo, get down there and find me another robot. Sorry, Cap, you're on your own. <gasps> yes, the Vampinator and Sava live quite happily now, working hard at their jobs, helping people whenever they are able, traveling, and having adventures. Next July, they plan on taking a vacation to the moon. The end. You have been listening to Chatterbox Audio Theater, the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention, and Memphis College of Arts production of Robots, Vampires, and Satellites, performed live at White Station Middle School on November 9th, 2012. Featuring Tom Kenny as the Vampinator, Lena Wallace as Sava, Chris Jowers as Count Lakari, Odell Atkinson as Cairo, Miranda Fisher as Leah, and Marcus Brown as Mr. Omega. Music by Winston Stewart. Character designs by Travis Fowler. Animation by students at the Animation Department at the Memphis College of Art, coordinated by Travis Fowler and Meredith Root. Produced by Eric Sefton. Based on a character created by Leah Mata. Story by Joe Thorderson. Adapted and directed by Robert Arnold. Chatterbox Audio Theater is a non-profit web-based community theater that advances the exchange of ideas by channeling creativity and artistic collaboration into recorded audio works that enlighten, entertain, and inspire. Download our shows, meet our cast and crew, and make a donation to support our work at www.chatterboxtheater.org. <laughs> The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together. <laughs>